I'm very pleased to be joined on the line right now by the chairman of the Board of Governors for the BC Hockey League, Darcy Rhoda. Darcy, thanks so much for taking the time to chat here today. My pleasure, Brian. Thanks for having me on. So news out of the BC Hockey League uh, late last week that uh, Commissioner John Grisdale and Executive Director David Sales uh, have each signed a three-year contract extension carrying through the 2013-14 season. Uh, Maybe you can explain a little bit to our fans how the process came together. Well, both uh, David and John have been uh, in their roles since uh, 2003, and from the board's perspective, uh, I've been very happy with uh, their work, their efforts, their commitment to the British Columbia Hockey League. And uh, yeah, we've got you know issues that uh, every league has. There's no question about that. But um, it, it was fully supportive in regards to the board moving forward with the extensions. Uh, of both gentlemen's contracts. Um, our executive committee, I brought it forward to our committee the, knowing that uh, both would be in their last year of their contracts this year, would be expiring after this season. Uh, felt from my side that uh, working with John on a number and David with a number of different issues and, and seeing the respect that they have with Hockey Canada, uh, BC Hockey, uh, for example, uh, the World Junior A Challenge, how John and uh, Dave were very much involved with that. Um, I had the pleasure to be back in Toronto for the World Hockey Summit with with John Grisdale, and just to see the respect he has with uh, the people from Hockey Canada, from Bob Nicholson to you know people across Canadian Junior Hockey uh, is very impressive. And John, uh, you know his his word. He's a very uh, much person with high integrity, as David is, and. You know, so uh, with the executive, we talked about it, all felt very strong that we should look at extending both uh, the, of their contracts. Uh, we took it to the board, had a conference call, uh, I guess in late September. Uh, it was unanimous to, from the board's perspective, from every team to uh, move forward with, with both John and David. And at our October meeting, uh, we announced it uh, to the group in front of uh, John and David and got a huge applause, but uh, very supportive from the board's perspective to extend their contracts. Was it a big point for the Board of Governors to have consistency? I I believe it is. Uh, I could just tell from the feedback that uh, we got from from each governor, and we give every governor office obviously the opportunity to speak in regards to their thoughts about uh, both John and David, and uh, feeling that uh, consistency was was a very important factor. Uh, you know, just for example, you know, John uh, played at Michigan Tech, went the college route. He played pro hockey. Um, has had a business background uh, before he joined uh, the British Columbia Hockey League as commissioner. Uh, David has had uh, a long experience. Uh, as a, as a coach and a manager in the British Columbia Hockey League, uh, they know our league, they understand our league, they're very passionate about uh, uh, the British Columbia Hockey League and Canadian Junior A Hockey. Uh, so, yeah, consistency was an important part of that. But I think more importantly is that these guys are, are quality individuals and do a great job for our league. Was it a no-brainer, though? Was there ever any consideration from the board to, uh, to look elsewhere? Brian, it was an absolute no-brainer. Um, the conference call that we had from the board's perspective uh, in the process uh, after it went from uh, my discussion with the executive and then to the board, uh, the whole call took, I think, 20 minutes, which uh, I didn't know what to expect, but it was overwhelming in support of extending both uh, John and David's uh, contract. Uh, everyone knows the effort these two gentlemen put in for the for the job and you know they worked tirelessly on behalf of of our league and uh yeah as i said we've got you know issues right now i mean the biggest thing i guess would be attendance is making sure that you know that the value of the entertainment dollar is is difficult uh, at times out there and making sure that our attendance uh uh stays up where we want it to be and getting uh that to a point where everybody's happy with now, obviously, there have been a, a lot of uh, challenges and changes and things like that since uh, both John and David took over in, in 2003 and established the league's office in Burnaby and, and that type of thing. Um, is there more to go from here? I mean, is there uh, a possibility to continue to, to grow the league? I mean, obviously, that would be the, the thought of the Board of Governors. Well, it always is a topic of discussion um, until... Uh someone uh, comes forward with uh, a uh, whether it's a business person with a, a thought for a place where they feel it could work um, 
we do s- discuss different scenarios in regards to where we think potential expansion could work. I think it's a real uh, divided group with our governors. Um, I think the big thing is, is the player pool, whether or not uh, it's felt that there's enough players out there to, to keep the British Coming Hockey League at, at the elite level uh, that we're at and uh, have the respect that we have across junior hockey. I mean, we have obviously uh, kids that really want to come and be part of uh, the junior league here because of a reputation uh, from outside our province and within our side of our province. So that probably is a much a discussion whether uh, down the road growth will happen. Um, and again, everybody's got their opinion about that. And in terms of growth of the league itself, awareness uh, as it relates to the NHL and in dealing with Hockey Canada and the Western Hockey League, I would guess that the Board of Governors thought that John and David would be the ideal people to continue to do what they're doing with that. Uh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I, as I say, have seen it firsthand, uh, John's uh, reputation, how he deals with uh, people from Hockey Canada. Uh, I've had meetings with Bob Nicholson and John Grisdale about just different things in regards to the BCHL uh, and just uh, the respect that John has amongst his peers throughout uh, uh, the hockey world is, is just really special for me to see. And, uh, you know, he, he speaks with, with great respect, uh, he, with integrity, and uh, he is uh, well-respected amongst uh, hockey people uh, at all levels. And, you know, the National Hockey League is, is another area. John played the National Hockey League, uh, has, you know, nice connections there. Uh, but the bottom line is, is that we just as a board of governors felt very strongly that uh, John and David were the right people to continue to lead this, uh, this league. And we're all, of course, very proud of the British Columbia Hockey League. So with that being said, what's the next step for the BCHL in terms of promoting itself and, and getting to be more well-known and, and that type of thing with John and Dave at the helm? Yeah, that's a, that's a great uh, question. I mean, that's something I know, Brian, that we deal with here in the Lower Mainland. I mean, you're a former Lower Mainland resident yourself. You you know the, the trials that we go through in dealing with uh, getting kind of... Uh, people aware of what uh, the BCHL is all about. I mean, this is Canuck territory, big time for sure. And, of course, the Giants, uh, uh, Ron Toigo and Don Hay have done a fabulous job with uh, marketing the, the Vancouver Giants down here. So, you know, that that's really kind of uh, our trial down here, particularly, is to really uh, raise the profile of the BCHL. I mean, in markets like uh, you have in Merritt and smaller communities throughout British Columbia. I know I was raised in Prince George. I mean, uh, the, the the, the, the junior team is, is really the, the number one team there and get great publicity. But it, it's an area that uh, we constantly talk about, and uh, I think the biggest concern now is making sure our attendance figures don't drop and uh, that we continue to put the product that's very successful on the ice. And, you know, uh, I look at the parity in the BCHL this year. I think for the first time in a few years, you can probably say that it's really very open in regards to uh, the Coastal Division. There's no real, what I see, Langley's off to a great start, uh, but uh, Paul River's got a great team, uh, you know, and I'm very happy the way we progressed the start of the year after 15 games, and I look at the Interior Division, uh, very much open up there too, so I think it's only going to get exciting as the year progresses with the parity we have in the BCHL this year. And so is the sky the limit at this point for the BC Hockey League? Well, I, I, I don't know if the sky's the limit, but uh, the respect that we have amongst hockey players uh, that want to come and be part of our league is uh, really neat to see. Um, rarely do you get a player from BC who wants to get moved outside the province. It does happen. A kid from BC that plays in the BCHL, uh, but you get players from outside BC that want to become part of the British Columbia Hockey League, which to me is pretty nice to, to know that uh, the reputation that we have out there um but you know we know that uh, there's a constant battle with uh, you know the recruiting of players whether it's major junior whether you know the players now can go to the ushl uh so there's always that player battle that we're into too and making sure that our player pool stays at the level we want it to be